Moving day as a piece of history leaves its Williamsburg home for the first time in 60 years. But it's not goodbye. The Freedom Bell will be back after it takes part in another historic event. Ten on your side's Lex Gray explains. You can feel the excitement here today among church leaders, parishioners, and historians as this historic bell makes its way to Washington, D.C. I personally am overwhelmed. A lifelong member of the First Baptist Church, Jean Stewart can hardly remember a moment as exciting as this. The uh, people uh, were so happy to know that our bell would be going to Washington. First Baptist Church formed in 1776 by both free and enslaved African Americans. The congregation brought the Freedom Bell into its history in 1886 and it's still there now under the leadership of Pastor Reginald Davis. We hopefully uh, this bell represents for all people uh, the bell tone of freedom, justice, and equality. The bell fell silent in 1956 until conservationists restored it this year. The congregation found out recently it now will be in D.C. for the opening of the National Museum of African American History and Culture. We understand that the president is going to, supposed to ring the bell and everybody just exploded. Pastor Davis sees the bell's journey as a mirror of the nation's journey and that neither are over. What we're hoping for is the racial healing. Just to hear the sound of this bell all to remind us uh, that we are in a free nation, uh, but we still got a lot of work to do. The Freedom Bell will be back here in Williamsburg in October for the congregation's 240th anniversary. In Williamsburg, I'm Lex Gray, 10 on your side.